Good morning, everybody, and welcome once again. Uh, I'm Father John Barker, the vicar of the parish of All Saints, Harrow Weald. We're live streaming worship using Facebook and uh, YouTube. And today, our live stream worship is going to be prayer during the day. It's a very simple, a very short, a very beautiful service from Common Worship, which is uh, the book of orders of worship which we commonly use in the Church of England. We're in the Diocese of London in the Church of England. Our worship will begin in uh, three, four minutes at around 11.30. As we prepare for worship, we will listen to a group of international singers singing As the Deer Pants for the Water. Young people with beautiful voices singing 
a hymn of praise to Almighty God, all of them from Asia, singing in their own languages, singing in English, and meaning every word that they say. May our worship this morning be equally meaningful. So, let us pray prayer during the day. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Make me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. I invite you to join in the opening prayer responsorially. Jesus, Saviour of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our saviour and mighty deliverer. Save us and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. Our day psalm, Psalm 123. Our eyes Wait upon the Lord our God. To you I will lift up my eyes. To you that are enthroned in the heavens. As the eyes of servants look to the hand of their master. Or the eyes of a maid to the hand of her mistress. So our eyes wait upon the Lord our God until he have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, O Lord, have mercy upon us, for we have had more than enough of contempt. Our soul has had more than enough of the scorn of the arrogant and of the contempt of the proud. Our eyes wait upon the Lord our God. Sovereign God, enthroned in the heavens, Look upon us with your eyes of mercy, as we look on you with humility and love, and fill our souls with your peace, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our reading from the Bible is from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, some verses from the second chapter. Now, in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ, for he is our peace. In his flesh, he has made both groups into one and has broken down the dividing wall that is, the hostility between us. He has abolished the law with its commandments and ordinances so that he might create in himself one new humanity in place of the two, thus making peace, and might reconcile both groups to God in one body through the cross, thus putting to death that hostility through it. So he came and proclaimed peace to you who were far off and peace to those who were near. For through him, both of us have access in one spirit to the Father. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. 
And now let us pray. Dear loving Heavenly Father, as we worship you in the morning here in England, we pray that we may put aside all differences and live together as Paul encouraged us and as Jesus showed us. Lord, help us to love one another, to respect our differences and to seek similarities. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we continue to pray for your support to help us to live with and to overcome coronavirus. We pray for those who are affected by it, suffering from it at this time. From our parish family, we continue to pray for Luke John, praying that he may feel the comfort of your support, your presence beside him. We pray for doctors and nurses who are caring for the sick, for researchers who are looking for better treatments and for effective vaccines. For those working in care homes, looking after those who cannot look after themselves and taking risks with their own health every day. Lord, we pray that you will be with them all and that your, the presence of your Holy Spirit may encourage them and give them strength. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now we pray for ourselves and for our families and our friends. We share with you now those who we know personally, who we know particularly need your comfort and support at this time. We lift them to you in the silence of our prayers. From our congregation, we pray especially for Anne Nash, praying that she may soon receive a new date for her operation and that her pain and discomfort may be relieved. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And finally, in these prayers, we remember those who we have known and loved, <coughs> who are no longer with us. We pray for those who mourn their passing. We continue to hold in our prayers and to share our love with the Garrett family and the Diamond family as they come to terms with living without Doug and without Hayley. And we remember those who we have known and loved who have helped us to be better people. We pray that their rest with you may be eternal and we pray that we may show what we have learned from them in the way that we live our lives. And so we commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Our colleague for this day. Almighty God, you have made us for yourself and our hearts are restless till they find their rest in you. Pour your love into our hearts and draw us to yourself and so bring us at last to your heavenly city where we shall see you face to face. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. 
Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May Christ our Saviour give us peace. Amen. And now may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for joining us for worship today. At the moment it's a beautiful day here in Harrow Weald and actually it's made the screen look rather strange here in the study of the vicarage because the autumn sun is shining straight through the vicarage window. And so let us pray that the weather will hold because this afternoon at 2.30pm Neil and Agatha from our congregation are coming to All Saints for the service of holy matrimony. So please hold them in your prayers and let us pray also that the sunshine will last at least until this afternoon. We're going to try and encourage the sun to continue with our closing hymn. It is All Things Bright and Beautiful, the John Rutter composition.